Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we are live. Hello, my name is Melly. And uh, you want to introduce um, yourself? No chill, Gil. No chill, Gil. Okay, so I'm introducing us because we are live on both channels at the same time. So for those of you who don't know me or who don't know him, I'm going to say hi to my chat. I said, chat. <laughs> my chat is the best, the craziest. <laughs> Why are you laughing already? Oh, uh, because everybody knows me on things. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Not everybody knows you. Sorry. I didn't know who you were. So, uh, exactly. So, you want to say hi to your chat or no? To my chat? Yes, your chat. No, we don't do that. Oh, so we, you're we not. Just, we just get the going. My chat already thorough. Are you grateful for your chat? Of course. Oh, okay. Because you, you... you're looking good, though. Oh, uh, thank you. What's this? What's this? Thank you. You're not. You're not too bad. Okay. It's cool. What up, chat? How y'all doing? Oh, how now you want to say what's up? Oh, <laughs> uh, all them ladies in there. Yeah. Oh, so you get ladies in my chat? Yeah. Oh no, yeah. yeah. A Thanks. lot. Thanks. Oh, okay, that's cool. My ladies hold me down. Okay, well, ladies, if you want to super chat some stuff, <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's send some super chat. <laughs> so, so what we're gonna do today is, um, we're gonna have like a conversation. I think. Because I think a lot of people have asked about uh, what we're doing, why we don't collab, we should collab, it should be entertaining. So here we are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here we are. So if you guys have any questions, we're going to take some questions. We already have topics that we decided. But um, if you have any questions while we're talking, you know, you can send a $5 super chat so I can see it. Yeah, I'm going to be the one with the computer to see, to see the stuff. Uh, you send your question and we'll try to answer it. We'll try because, you know. Hey, fellas, he's gonna hey be... fellas in my chat, I told you. You told them what? Huh? You told them what? I told them nothing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. We'll see. Uh, but, but, yeah, if you have any questions for him especially, you can, you can send him questions. Facts. Facts. Listen, I'm not hot because I'm nervous. I'm hot because the room is hot. It is kind of kind of hot. So uh, I don't know. You say you're famous. Facts. You're rich. Mm. I mean, you walked up in here. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm asking. I don't know. Uh, but but you don't got AC. No, I didn't turn it on. I, I was busy. Oh, I was busy. Uh, you were busy, so no AC. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, sounds great. Um, I said you got comfortable. See, see, fellas, that's how you know the. They comfortable already. See, she's seen the house, got a hiccup. She ain't got her shoes on no more. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So I'm comfortable because I don't got shoes on. Facts. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you say that. Um, so so you're ready? Yeah, We're gonna I'm start. Ready. Oh, also, uh, so he, he prepared some dinner. You you got a chef for us? Yeah, I have a sushi chef. A uh, what? Sushi. You got a sushi. Chef. Oh, that's better. Yes. All right. That's coming in. That's going to be giving us dinner. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why you act like I can't hear you? What? I'm here. Oh, well, then fine. This is like the third date. Tricked her into another date. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I don't need to be tricked. I know what's going on. <laughs> I do know what's going on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. So, so you're ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You're ready. <laughs> You're sweating. You seem nervous. I told you I'm not nervous. It's hot. Why are you not hot? You seem nervous. So okay. Now, that's why I'm late. I was rushing. Oh, they say there's chemistry. It's good. Their chemistry is good. Okay. We'll see. Uh, she knows what comes after dinner. Ha! Well, <laughs> yeah, that must be my chat. Is that my chat? No, that's my people actually. Oh. So that's why I'm like you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna start. So uh, I got a first question for you. Uh, that's a question that people ask me all the time. So, so I want to ask you, uh, why are you single? Oh, are you single before I assume? <laughs> are you single? What is single these days? Stop. Don't play. Let me say what is single. No, you're not going to start running around the question and not answer. Do I have a main chick? No. Do, do you have a girlfriend? No. No. Okay. So. Because you said no S's, right? You didn't say girlfriends. Just a, one. No. Just one. Yeah, okay. Uh, so why are you single? Uh, <laughs> I am single because um, I have a lot of friends that are women 
and it's hard to choose. You know, they all got their own different qualities. So, so you haven't found a woman that has all the qualities that you're looking for yes. in just in one? one? Just one, yeah. You haven't? No. Okay. I haven't found a Michael Jordan yet. You know what I mean? Okay. So, so what are those qualities? You know, for the ladies out there, you said there is ladies in your chat. So, for the ladies who can be interested, what are those qualities? What qualities to be on the roster? No, to be your girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Um, You're starting already. It's uh, what? How long we're in right now? We're in for like, I don't even know, five minutes, and you're already starting. No, no I was just trying to figure out the, uh, the like for the girlfriend position or for the girlfriend or the position. Team. For for your girlfriend. Oh, the qualities is um, gotta have chemistry, mm -hmm. vibe, smart. Um, what is vibe? Wait, hold on. Because no, vibe is always no. like something people say, but what yeah, does it not, mean? I can't say the qualities. See, you're trying to set me up. See, if I say the qualities and some of the girls that's on the list feel they got the qualities, they're going to they're gonna wonder why I ain't taking them serious like that. So, no. I, no. So, so You just got to have it. So then those qualities are not real? No, if I say them and then some of them feel that they, they match have these qualities, qualities they're going to be like, hey, so why I you seen you live. So why you didn't pick them then if they had those qualities? Or they think they have the qualities and they don't really have them. I don't know. I like it the way it is. Okay, but so you're single because you haven't found a woman with all the qualities, but now you don't want to say the qualities. Can you participate? Okay. I'm, Please. I'm, if that's how we're going to be, uh uh. Okay, I, I'm, I'm single because I'm spoiled. Okay, there we go. You ready? I'm single because I'm spoiled. All my girls have spoiled me so good that it's hard to get a real girlfriend because of the things that they do with no effort. Okay. Okay. You see that? You're right. arrogant. Huh? You're arrogant. My girls make me arrogant. Oh, it wasn't from you alone. No, it's from the success of my relationships with my girls. Right? Like you say you want to What girls? The girls from the roster? Yeah, my roster. So they make you arrogant. Yes. Think about it. Every time you, woman, every time you get a compliment, you know, you get like, woo. Every time I can be like, yo, I got like 20 minutes, you know, no dinner. Let me come over, bang, 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 <laughs> and then come home. And then I ain't got to call them for two weeks. Right? That gives me some type of. That gives you, you some type of, okay. Men, men you, you think you're the shit, but. Yeah. Don't you think that those women are actually low value and that's why they're allowing you to have that type of behavior? Oh, they, I mean, it might be low value in your mind and my, my my mind. That's high value. Value is on the person who's evaluating it. So in your mind, they're high value? Yes. Oh. I mean, you can think you high value as a person, mm -hmm. but if no one gives you what you're looking for, then you're not as high as you want. But apparently they're not high value enough because you don't get one to be your girlfriend. So Maybe. where is the value? Because it's my value, it's my evaluation. It's not yours. I understand, but the value, like when dating and when the women you want to be with, you decide that value, but then if you don't make them your girlfriend, that means the value is too low. Or you want a girlfriend with low value. No, any girl I date has high value. That's why I'm dating them. You don't date them. You just say you fuck them and you go. That's dating to me. <laughs> okay. That's how you train them, chat. Amen. You follow me? That's how you train who? Huh? How you train who? Train what? My women. Okay. Um. All right. Well, there's a question from the chat. So... Since you're not, I'm gonna need no, you. No, my to I'm gonna need to... you to start answering like for real. Because if you're gonna dance around the question, I didn't this dance is around. I just told you I can't get a girlfriend because the thirty girls that I got on the side, they come in the game, they hit their shots, and they don't complain. So, do you want a girlfriend? Maybe that's the no, I mean, question. Because maybe you I, I you wanna... enjoy this life that you're living with thirty girlfriends. Uh, See, you call them thirty girlfriends. Yeah. So. So you enjoy that life. That's, that's what you want to do. I mean, if I can find something, I mean, you know, you just got to come in there and say, who wants to be the star? 
you know, they're not complaining and I say nothing. They don't really care. So I'm not going to just say, hey, man, I'm looking for one. Uh, OK, you just got to audition. You we're going to try to out. we're going to try to stop the bullshit. No, I'm saying, are so, you trying to okay, try so, out I'm trying to figure no, out. No, I'm not trying to try out because okay, I'm not I'm on no roster. Okay. But um, so how old are you? 41. 41. So at 41, that's still the lifestyle that you want to live. For fun? <laughs> sure. If that's if that's your if, fun, I mean, you don't feel like sharing your life with somebody like for real, just one person, maybe. Maybe a main one. And a little less of the side ones. No. Is that a serious for your question? yeah, that's a serious question. As a man, you think do most men would prefer if they had the choice like they have an abundance yes, man gets the pick yes okay. if okay. they have an abundance of women they have enough resources would they decide at, after a certain age you know because i feel like people gotta play around a little bit but once you get to an age do you think what would most men um pick a girlfriend that is loyal that they fuck with they they're vibing uh, <laughs> They get along, she's supportive and has all the qualities, or still fuck around here and there with like multiple girls. What would be the the main thing for most men, you think? Um, probably one woman that actually gets it. Okay. So so you are willing to stop the fun, the fun fun that you're talking about to get with one that is probably as much fun, but just in her. No, no, yeah. You didn't sound like that. I mean, you you didn't sound like it's, that. It's like telling me I got a hundred shoes, pick one. We are not talking about shoes. The fact that you're gonna compare women with shoes is wild. But okay, I mean, okay, okay. Uh, Chat. I have a question for you. What What do you think? Do you think most men, or just answer for yourself? Um, Put one, if you would prefer to find a loyal woman that you can share your life with, or put two, if you would prefer to play around and have multiple hoes. What hoes? I mean, the, women. women. Oh, now you want to respect women. I, I respect them. Oh, my chat's going to do two all day. That's my, my chat. All right, what, what are we saying? What two. are we saying? One, two, 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 two one, two. one, two. 1.5. 1, 1. Know? What is 1.5? Let's go check. Huh? 1.5 is the main hey, one. I see a lot of ones. A, a 1.5 is one main one with one side chick. <laughs> okay. No, I see a bunch of ones. That's your like, chat. That's not mine. How is it my chat? I see both chats. Oh, thanks. Yes. Oh. So, so I don't know. Somebody said, what are we voting here? Well, okay. I guess it's it's mm, not sure. All right, let me read some of the um uh some of the super chats. Uh thank you, Mateo. Shout out Onk. Melly always looking good. Well, thank you. Uh let's see if there is a question. Yes, there is a question. Don't cross me. Thank you for the five dollar super chat. Gil's kids are a certain age. Okay, we're going to the kids. Is it a deal breaker if his kids uh don't like a significant other oh so it's a question for you if your kids don't like the girl that you're choosing would you stay with your girl and make the kid like her or fuck the kids what would you do it's my <laughs> it's my girl not my kids girl so they have no opinion about um, mm -hmm. who i'm in love with and who i have feelings for that has nothing to do with them oh so you're capable of that capable to of to be in love with somebody and have feelings for for the girl yeah oh okay did i, I know mean listen i know i'm a savage but i'm also uh, a ladies man like, so you're a ladies man now okay I mean, we, we went on two dates you're not so a ladies you know not, man you know i'm not a savage not a savage but you're still i wouldn't say a ladies man oh i wouldn't say that what would you call me here um, we go <laughs> Not a speaks savage. For silence, it's speaks not for a itself. savage, but it's not a ladies' man. It might be like in between. In between. Yeah. yeah. Like James Bond. He's a ladies' man. 
That's not you. Okay. That's not you. So um poor man's James Bond. Girl is being a hundred. Most men with money have a minimum of three, four women who understand the move. See, most three to four. Mm-hmm. And somebody said, don't try to turn a frog into a prince. Unless it's a handsome frog. I don't know about that. Um, yeah. Okay, so so you are single because you haven't found a woman who wants everything, who has everything that she wants. I'm, okay. I mean, that's, that's what your I'm answer. I'm single because I like the way life is right now. I don't... <laughs> okay, so you got to, the person who comes in just got to make the life as fun or more fun. Nice. And then you'll get rid of the roster. Yes. Okay, so how many girls you have on the roster since we're talking about roster? Okay, see, I might, I might dance a little bit on here because why because like be for real like, like we know we know you dance we know you do yes you're media train we we're aware but how about you you be for real for once okay so like weekly roster monthly roster yearly roster whichever like people who live in town do they count part as a roster somebody i can have sex with once a month once, once a, month. a year is that part of the roster or do you say like somebody I that's think she's every part day, of the roster. That's every day, like every week type. Like everyone that's about in the two month. Like you might see one one every two months. If it's once a year, she don't really count. Okay. So how many? Oh, it's that many? You gotta count. <laughs> Keep counting. <laughs> <laughs> How many people in the chat? <laughs> uh, 2,400 right now. Oh. <laughs> Woo! All you right. take off this couple zeros. <laughs> you take off two zeros. That's probably where we at. So 24. Well, Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you got 24. How do you manage? They hit you, you hit them. Ooh. How does it work? Um, Ooh, we got some food. Oh, yes. You can come in. Thank you. What's your name? This is Chef Morales. 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 Thank you so much. We got some sushi tonight. Sushi. Thank you. Right, thank you. Thank you. All right, that looks good. Let me show them. Guys, if you want to see what's in here. Oh, that is the soy, soy sauce. sauce. That's awesome. All right, cool. Um, that's already a lot. I'm like, the food? <laughs> okay. So, um, did you finish answer? Okay, you got 24. So, how do you manage 24? They manage themselves. I can hear that. So, what you, you? I can hear your phone. Oh. Yeah. So, they manage themselves, you said? Yeah, that's what I said. It's so easy that I don't have to do anything. I don't have to sit there and call and check, probably send a couple of text messages here and hey, how you doing? Boom, boom, boom. Other than that, I don't need to go out. You don't take them out? No. Why not? They don't deserve. I'm famous. So you can't go out. No, I mean, you know, do you want to go and TMZ catch you? you know, I use all that. Use we all went that. out. Huh? We went out. I know. I mean, some of them complained about that too. You know, but they also, you can go out with her, but you can't go out with me. You know. You know. Oh wait, somebody talking Block. shit. Is that one of my girls? Uh <laughs> Just. <laughs> Uh, somebody said, this show has no fire, it's dead. She give a leash vibe. What do you think? You think I'm a leash? A leash like what? Uh, I think it means like, what do you mean? You're asking me the definition of a, a leash? leash? A leash? leash? Like, like a dog trainer? Uh, no. Like, I mean, I don't know if that's the same word, but like a girl that's after your money pretty much, like I need to be taken care of. That's leash? I don't know. I, that's not L E E C H. Yeah, that's what that means. <laughs> okay. Are you a leech? They're, I'm asking because they say that's the vibe I'm giving out. <laughs> you don't want to know what I'm saying, chat. Y'all already know where my mind went. Leech means something next. Okay, can you answer? You want that? What does a leech do? Out here for your money, no, trying to get leech? taken care of. What is a chat? Can y'all let her know? Can y'all let her know? 
Yeah, see, my chat knows. They say yeah. leech is a blood sucker. And what else? Yeah, see, my sex. A soul sucker. Yeah. So are you? Are you a leech? What? What? Did, what is the definition? A soul sucker? I don't even know what it means. Just say yes. No. Oh, okay. Um. It's uh. <laughs> like a blood sucker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Suck blood. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no. So it's like a vampire. <laughs> no. Someone who's good at sucking. I, I'm, I'm guessing. Some someone who is what? Good at sucking. Okay. Somebody say it means getting all you can get out of something slash someone. No, that's cornball. Can, can my chat let her know what this means? I don't know. You got to go to chat. Can y'all tell superhead? Right, you suck. Right, you know he's saying you a, a leech. <laughs> Somebody said it's a vampire. All right. <laughs> they, no, they're making fun of me. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, well, I don't fucking know then. Okay, well, never mind. That was somebody saying something. She's not American, y'all, so y'all, you know what I mean? You, you know, excuse you gotta... me. I apologize. Uh Jones, thank you for the twenty dollars. Uh mainly I'm the one. Okay, okay, shit. Um uh, somebody wants you to talk about your ex enemy. Uh, yo, agent, you a fool, bro. You've been keeping Bronnie in stitches through the rehab. Salute, bro. You know I can't read really well. Uh, I know she find a ship. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, somebody say Brittany Gr Griner leech. That's a leech. Brittany, Brittany Griner. That's, would you say that's a leech? Listen. You know, you're going to have to, there's, there's a lot of definitions. Okay. Leech. Like leech is something that sticks to you and sucks, right? Mm -hmm. If she goes to the right spot, that's a good sucker. Okay. okay. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, like a, a leech, someone who is going to drain you for, um, for whatever they yeah. can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Somebody said that. You say no. You said that's corny. Yeah, because I'm okay. So I threw a pitch out there. I gotta eat it. Okay. So, <laughs> so anyways, uh, okay. So na I'm not blushing. So now that we we have a number on the roster, about twenty four. Um, if you do find somebody, do you have questions for me? Because it's all me, me, me asking you. You know, you can interject and ask. I'm interject. Oh, trust me, I'm interject. Oh, you're gonna interject. Okay. I'm interject. So, um, how how long? Let's say you find. The girl that makes you feel like okay i'm gonna get rid of the roster i don't need them no more she's more fun on her own than all of this girl how long until you get rid of your roster or is it even uh how, okay, an so, option are so, you even getting rid of them okay so when i meet a girl mm -hmm. that i like how long does it take before i get rid of all of them yeah Oh, if that's a requirement, if the girl you're with, she's like, you know, I don't really fuck with you having other girls, blah, blah, blah. You know, if we're going to be serious, you got to get rid of the other girls. How long that takes you? Uh, so, hmm. Hmm. realistically. Yes. Can you answer first? <laughs> How long if you met a dude and y'all start, are y'all talking like, or y'all actually dating? Um, are y'all getting to know each other or y'all actually say, yo, we are going to be committed? Let's say when we say we're going to be committed. Okay. So how long does it take before you As get, get rid of your roster? Do you have a roster? Right away. No, I don't. I don't have a roster, but as soon as we decide to be serious, uh -huh. then yeah, it shouldn't be anybody else. I don't think. Well, see, that sucks. I mean, that sucks for someone like me mm -hmm. because, I mean, you don't have anybody to get rid of, right? So uh, with me, it's... Uh, okay, but if I had people to get rid of, I mean, because me, sorry, I wouldn't talk about the roster. It's not like I got four guys. It's not like I'm being sexual with them. I might kiss them and stuff, but that's about it. So... It might be one or two. I mean, maybe we can call that a roster. It's a mm -hmm. tiny roster. 
compared to 24, but, mm -hmm. but yeah, if we say, okay, we're serious, then the one or two that I have, they're gone. Damn. Um, well, I'm sorry. I, I can't speak for regular men, right? I'm just saying, you know, because, you know, I'm, let's just be honest. Um, within, within meeting the person, right? Mm -hmm. Like, like hanging with them, they're going to show me something different. If I'm going to take it and be serious with them, that means they showed me something um, that I, I like, that I want. And that right there probably releases five, six girls that okay. I can say, these attributes I want, you guys don't have it. I don't want nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. So they don't even have to be like a committed relationship for me to see something in you or the person and get rid of some of them. But to, all of to them, go down all of them, that's going to take like the six, best ones. six, seven to a year. <laughs> no. You don't I mean, know what some of them girls done done to get to the spots they done got to. Like you talking about like. It doesn't matter. They are the spot that is not the best because they're part of the roster. They're not that one girl that you're like, okay, we're together. But I don't understand is that why get in that relationship until you get rid of the other girls? Because that most girls want you to not have other girls. So why would you take six months to a year? Because most likely you're going to get busted. And then the one girl might leave you or might lose stress in you. You know, it's going to be. Because some, some that I found out that some girls are number two options. Okay. Like they like. They're close. They like their number two. Oh, and they I like it. Girl, Why you've never tried to like date me seriously? And they said, because I know how you are mm -hmm. and I like the way we are this way. So I'd rather you just. Stay like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have girls that's been there 20 years, 15 years, no problems, nothing. Right. So you, I mean, you know, so you got to get rid of them, but the problem yeah, with but that, that means they're going to come back. If they've see, been here 20 years, 15 years, you drop them today and you don't work out with the main girl, you can get them like easy. No, that's no, yeah. All right. So why is it hard to get rid of them? It ain't hard. It's just, you don't want to, you know, it's, you know, no, it's not that I don't want to. It's just, it's just, it's a process. No, nothing just drops off like that. You got to just weed. You just start weeding them out until the point no. where you're like, you know, this is. No, but why don't you just say no to the relationship with the main girl and be like, no, I need, I need some time. I think you're, I th and I think you're being selfish. Okay. Because you want to have it, you want to have it all. You don't want to risk losing the good girl, but yet you don't want to do the sacrifices, make the sacrifices to get rid of the other one. Remember, I already have the other one. Okay, right? so, so drop them. So it's dropping 30 people that they ain't done nothing wrong, but positive. So what? You can, <laughs> oh, if they're so great, then I think they will enjoy or be happy for you that you found a woman. No, 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 yeah, so say congratulations. Okay, you know, so. We'll be here when you call, you got that, you know? But okay, it happens, so it's, move just on. Not, it's not overnight because, uh, okay, so no. a woman is just coming into the fold, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you're talking about, People that's been there 15, 20 years. Yeah. And, you know, this person's one, two months, right? You know? So what? You, you don't crawl run. before you can walk. You got to walk before you can run. No, I mean, but if that's how you feel, why do you agree to be in the relationship? Because that's what I, I chose to. This is one I want to be Yeah, but with. you're not being honest. honest. Yeah, no, no, facts. And that might ruin the relationship. You know, sports. Yeah. Right. You know, you know, LeBron, right. Mm -hmm. It's like being a rookie, right? You're the rookie that's going to be for the future. And I got LeBron on a team still. So, mm -hmm. you know, you know, Ooh. yes, thank you. I got LeBron on a team still. So, mm -hmm. you know, 20 year vet, you know, here, 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 you rookie, you don't know the ropes yet. You don't know the ropes yet. You just getting here. You got to get your feet wet before you can, Tell LeBron to go and kick rocks. How are you saying no to LeBron? No, no, no. That's no. LeBron is not the new girl. No, I know. How are you saying no to LeBron to be your main girl? Because LeBron is like, it's, it's had his, his career. <laughs> yeah, his career. I'm French. I got to move on, get some. 
No, I mean, we're not going to agree on this because I feel like when you tell the girl, yo, we're going to be together, mm -hmm. like the new one that you see the, the value of her being just your girl, mm -hmm. you should drop everybody off. Like, it's done. It should be. That's my opinion, but apparently you, you think differently. So, okay. 20 years of 20 years experience. You know, you're just coming in. You don't know me like that yet, you know. Okay, but even if she don't know you like that, you do want that relationship with her. So it's it seems like you see some great value in I her. Know, so that's All right, so drop the other ones that are gonna be back whenever you want, anyways. But you know, sometimes you no. know, that new girl gotta be understanding that she she done fast forwarded through twenty something people in a couple months. That's you know, she just sometimes she gotta be grateful. Right, I'm just saying. <laughs> no. I, I don't agree, but hey, okay. Yeah. What? Um, so why are you single? As, as, as me, my men in my chat want to know. Nobody is asking. You know What's they, wrong with you? Um, I don't know. I think you should ask my exes, and they, they'll probably answer you. Well, I'm going to ask you. We want to know right now. They're not here. Um, why am I Can some of her exes hit the link? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why am I single? Um, I think for a long time I was really career oriented, so I wasn't really focusing on that. Um, also, I think you wasn't focused on what? On like a relationship. Yeah, that, that's okay. And <laughs> like, just, just um, I used to lose interest pretty quickly. So it wouldn't really last. Mm, what else? I mean, and more recently, it's kind of like what I'm asking. Men are either they can't do it or they're not willing to give it to me. So then that, that's where it stops. You know, if you can't give me what I need. Okay, so what uh, do you need so we can see if this is even a realistic actual list? Okay, let's hear. Uh, I need support, affection. Right. Not... Money. Say no speed. They say no speed. They be hot. <laughs> All right. So you need support. What kind of support? Uh, moral support. Uh, support with like um, my business. What I got going on. That would be great if you can give me some ideas. Um, I don't really need motivation, but it's always you know welcome. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's it. So that's the type who's of just support about your. Your personal life, your business, and mm -hmm. okay, too. I mean, that's support. okay, okay, okay. So, that has nothing to do with financial, you're not saying financial support. No, no, you? I don't need the money. I mean, if you want to give me money, give me obviously, mm -hmm. but I don't need it, okay, okay. Um, attention, wait, so wait, yes, you don't need money, like so, so you, you good, yeah. I mean, I work, I make money, so okay. yeah, I'm good, yeah, all right. Okay, next one. I mean, I'm not rich, but I can live the, the life I want with how I work. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, attention. Okay. Uh, What's attention for you? Because when people say attention, they have their own things. Yeah, it's different for mm -hmm. everybody. Uh, I like to spend time, so we got to be able to spend time. So I'm not doing no really like long distance relationship. I... I want to see my dude when I get off work. You know, I think that's, I've been living by myself for a long time. So the feeling of like coming home or him come at, I work from home. So him coming home and, you know, just knowing you're going to share a little good time. Like to me, that's very valuable. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the attention I need. I don't need you to text me 24 hours. Like, no, that's not you're working. I'm working. I check on you real quick. You check on me and then we keep it moving. So why are you looking at me like that? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out why you're single. You mean you don't need no money. All you do is just need someone to encourage you. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to be waiting for him butt naked at the crib. I didn't say none lonely. of that. but No, no. I mean, that's basically what you said. Have a little fun when you get home. I heard you. Okay. I heard you. Whatever. All right. So I'm, you sound good to me so far. So keep going. I don't know. People are saying mainly looking for a unicorn, not a man. No, no. Damn. Hey, hey, but but, right but it is the fact, though. Like, I, I don't... Because it's hard to find. Just those. No, Somebody, no. a man who is supportive, that likes what you do, that's about your business, um, that gives you enough attention, 
that's already difficult. But the attention is, but the difference is the attention is you already home and you just waiting for them to come home. Mm -hmm. so or I can, can go, yeah, or I can go to their house, like whichever. Sorry, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, affection. Yeah. Um, he needs to want kids, at least one. Uh, what else? He needs to have his shit together. So like somebody like me, right? Um, mm -hmm. I got kids, right? Like, I mean, I can give you like one of mine. You can you one personally. You know what I mean? Just like, hey. Oh, so one of the one you already <laughs> have. Hey, you know what I mean? This is you. That you know. belongs to another woman. That's the yeah, one you want to yeah. give me. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. But having kids, that's a problem with men? Um, maybe because I want them kind of soon. And some men are kind of like, ah, I want to take my time. I'm like, no. I can have a baby with, like, if we hit it off and I feel like I know you. And maybe it's too soon, but hey, it hasn't happened. Six months to a year, I feel like I could be pregnant and I'd be cool. No, too fast. I'm not, but again, don't get me wrong. When I meet those men, I'm not saying, hey, I need a kid in six six months to a year. That is not the conversation. I just say, I want a kid. That I, That's listen, what I'm saying. I don't know what kind of chat you got, but my, my chat is we own it. We 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 already we already given thought. Hey chat, put the fire emojis if y'all thinking how I'm thinking. Right? She's already letting us know <laughs> she ready to fuck and have some kids. Facts. That's mm -hmm. what you said. Listen to what you said. I am I not saying I'm ready to fuck because obviously if you're ready I'm to have some kids that fast, so trust me. It you doesn't ready? mean I'm fucking right away. I mean you want to get that kid. <laughs> I'm not you having a kid started. in a month, two months, three months. Like it's still not that. So you don't have a 90 day rule then? No. Okay. So here we go. See fire emojis. You see them fires coming in there. <laughs> they flip. See my chat. No. See my chat. We know these are these is real ones here. These is real ones all fire like you hot right now. You are hot right now. You are prime real estate. I might have to text some of my women like, hey y'all. <laughs> I got to go ahead and listen to me. Y'all go. You haven't said, I don't, you haven't said nothing wrong yet. So keep going. Okay. Um. So yes, yeah, so I want a, a kid. Okay. One, uh, the man has to have his shit together. So. Not rich, but enough for him to have like a good life where you're not thinking about how you're going to pay your next bill. Because I can't live like that. I mean, I'm not living like that. Okay, you're not living like that. So, so I don't want a man that is going to be worried about, yo, how are we paying rent? No, I want you to be comfortable. Not rich. What age is this? What age? We can do 20s. Yes. Oh, we can do 20s? Yes. Oh, they You're telling me a 20 year old has his shit I didn't say 20. I'm I'm way I'm thinking of the, the yeah. 20 and what? 20 and you better keep going. <laughs> 28. No. no. Okay. You really have his shit together where he's not like bill to bill and he has like a safety net. So mm -hmm. if like COVID hit, he's, he's okay. fine. Yeah. yeah, you better you better get out of them 20s. <laughs> you better get it to the 20. I don't know. 36 is and seven, someone who's established. You're no, because I mean, we're not I scammers, we're not talking about scammers. I'm not talking about scammers either. But, um, I take myself for example, you know, I don't disclose my age or whatever. But when I was 26, 27, I had bread, so and then I'm not from here. So, to me, it's hard to understand when people don't have money. When they don't, they can't, I mean, not rich, but like living comfortably. Because I'm like, okay, I was here. I didn't have papers at some point. I, I figured out a way to, to work and to make some money. So, so I don't know. So you're say, telling me that there is no man around 26, 27 who has his shit together. No, not like that. Okay. So what salary is this for the man? To be cool, I'm thinking 70? 70 what? Thousand? 
70,000. I think a man with 70,000 can live a decent life. For himself. Does that for himself. A, a girlfriend? No, but I don't need him to spend money on me. Oh. So as long as he can pay for himself, we're cool. Okay. Okay. You can find that. Okay, so that's possible. Okay, mm -hmm. so 26, 7 to... I told you to get out of the 20s. Sorry but but we just decided that somebody who is 26, 27 can make that. Rapper. Rapper no. Artist, someone like that. But other than that, you better get out. Get into the 30s. Mm -hmm. So we just go, I'm going to give it to you. 32 to like 43. Right? Okay. Right, that's your age range. Right? Okay, great. Right, you stay out of the 20s. Right. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'll think about it. Okay. Um, what else? So, yeah, so he has to have goals. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good start. And in that list already, it's a lot of men who don't have that. Oh, and wait, and they got to be interested in me. Because I think that's... What does that even... Like, what? What does it mean? Interested that, in you, like... Like to do something for real, not just play around. Because there's probably men with that description that might not be interested in me. You know, they might not like what I do. They might not be ready to settle down. So all of this, but, even if those criteria are not crazy, there's a lot of men that are not interested in me. You seem like the person that when you're ready to go, you want to just go. Yes. Okay. And I know it doesn't work like that, especially for men. Yeah. But I, I give the time, you know, but they're going to know what I want. So then if they know that they cannot give it to me, they can keep it moving. So nobody is wasting time. Did they already hit? No. Or no. No. I, I mean, mean, what's okay. the point? What's the point for me to add a number where... We already know you're not going to be the man for me. There is no point. Like, I don't need sex like that, you know? Mm -hmm. So why add a number to to how many, to how to my bodies or whatever when we know it's not going to go nowhere? Okay, so, okay. In reality, the list itself is, is not a demanding list. So I, I don't think anybody's running from the, okay. the actual things you want. It might be the actual timing, like now, right? The direct, like right now timing. Mm -hmm. And yes, um, thank you. Some some men probably are not ready at that moment in time mm -hmm. to really be pushed like that. Okay. Right. And, you know, like when you're talking about like, um, you know, like having goals and like really being stable. Mm -hmm. A lot of men are not in that position to really be stable enough. So, you know, you might be too much of um, too just too much too much. It's it's it's, it's a different demanding. It's not like you're saying, you know, I need this, this, I need trips, this, this. You're mm -hmm. basically saying, I need you to have goals. I need you to be inspiring and all that stuff. And some men. Yeah are not quite Ooh. there yet. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. Well, you got to show this. Yeah, you show it. <laughs> All right, so this is, you know, did you show this one? No. So we have head chat. You know, so all the ladies that like sushi. And then we just got the little lobster. <laughs> little, sure. Lobster. So yeah. What? Nothing. You want to say so something? You got a question right there? You look no, at the chat. you want to say no, something? Buy it. <laughs> you know, I see you here on the computer oh, too. My huh? Chat, y'all. Oh, you can see me. I can see oh, you right my. here. I told you, like this saying. school. Like, I see everything here. Oh. Yes. Anyways, uh, but yeah, but I do get what you're saying when you're saying uh, I might, it is a different type of demanding, and that some, some men are not ready for that. And that's why when I say they need to be interested, they need to be interested in, in what I'm looking for. And a lot of men are not, or they might try. I had men telling me, oh, I'm a little intimidated because, you know, I've never really dealt with a, a girl who exactly knew what she wanted and who didn't rely on me for money and stuff. So I, I also think, you know, the money 
it's difficult. Uh, I think it's hindering me sometimes because they think like, oh, she got money. And then they're like, well, what can I do for her? Because a lot of men actually rely on their money to kind of like, I don't want to say control, but mm -hmm. that's their way to help out. And that's their way to feel like they're the men. And I always say like, you can spoil me with your money. It's even if I have money, I still appreciate little gift, big gift. I still appreciate everything. So it's not an issue if we both have money. Okay. So, okay. This and if is, you don't have the money, I don't care. We can do cute shit. Okay, so in 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 that sense, if a man doesn't have as much money as you, mm -hmm. do you devalue no. his work? No. Because that's usually what it is. Like, you know, with this masculine, feminine thing going yeah. on, right? No. Um, if they think you're a masculine woman, are you making a man feel like he's worthless because he doesn't have the money? No, no, that's crazy. I mean, as long as you, you have some goals that you're trying to achieve, it's fine. But if you're just sitting at home, not doing shit and just looking at me complaining all day or just not even complaining, just life is here and that's right, so your he's, content. He's, you know what I'm saying? If he's home waiting for you, you get home, the house is clean. He's, he's like a stay at home, like, dude. I'm cool with that. You cool with that? Yeah. Oh, she a sugar mama. Sh <laughs> no, I'm not a sugar mama. No. Yeah. Oh. She is sugar whatever. mama. Y'all like it. Whatever. What? That's not what it is. That is, I don't, you're not from here. Okay. Right. Wait, somebody says she's unrealistic in her choice of a future partner. She needs a class with some Kevin's video. Nothing increases in value with use and age. Okay, yeah, well. That, that's, that, that's that. That's that. I ain't listening to him. No? I'm listening. I can stay home. Play Xbox all day, make sure the house clean, don't say nothing, pamper you, and I'm good. I that. I mean, I, I'm not gonna say that it's my what I would prefer. Mm -hmm. I would prefer somebody who has goals and is like, okay, I'm gonna do this, this. You can help me with that. You know, I like I like to help. So if you tell me, hey, I'm trying to do this, you have any ideas? Like, I really like that. Damn, fella, listen. If you if you one of those dudes out there that's trying to get your rap career, going oh my on, God, shut she got up! The bread. Shut <laughs> she, up! You know what I'm saying she got the bread to start the rap career. Y'all gotta think. See, everything everything is a joke with you. No, I'm just saying, like you got to put it in. Per See, the problem is everybody don't put it in perspective. See, I'm just putting it in perspective. Like if I do have a goal, but I don't got the funds, all I've got to do is is make sure you happy and you happy is helping you gonna funnel some of that hard working money my way <laughs> <laughs> you decided that that's what it meant okay i'm with you though okay i feel you mm -hmm. okay so that's why you single huh? i think so okay. so mm-hmm are you trying to be in a serious relationship? Yeah. Like ASAP, huh? Hell yeah. Like tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Why not? I think that's the best. You know, it's a lot of people saying, oh, I don't need a man or men complaining about women, you know? They don't say as much that they don't need women, but they start acting like, oh, we're just going to fuck them and leave because they're too much, you know? But I really value having someone that really fucks with you. Especially for me, maybe it's because I'm not from here, but being alone, like I don't have any family here or anything. So when I'm with somebody, they become my family, his family become my family, you know, stuff like that. So I really, I really appreciate having someone, someone that I know I can call on. I probably never call on, but knowing, you know, that gives you like really a peace of mind. And just sharing your life. Stop looking at me like that. No, I'm and saying, no, and sharing soft, your life. She's a softy. Okay, so what? There's no, no issue with being a softy. You got the hard shell online. But How is it a softy. hard shell? I don't have a hard shell. I'm not going to be like, I'm sensitive and like emotional and, you know, be crying over shit. That's not me. No, no, no. You... But I like, I like companionship. Like that's, that's important. Like I think we're here to be with people and not just live alone like to me that yeah you don't want to be alone i'm, with you. I'm just saying like you know mm -hmm. 
I mean, it, listen, listen. I got a number one spot ready, you know. Um, it's tournament style, though, you know. Like, I don't know if you ever play video games, man. You got to go through levels. You got to go tournament through levels style. to get to the number one spot. You know, if, if that's the kind of challenge you want, I got a number one spot ready for you. You know what? I don't feel like I compete against maybe you, in your head i'm competing against other women but me i don't compete like i'm probably not even gonna ask you about your bitches and stuff like i'm just here and then you'll probably just pick me because i'm good i'm a good person i'm nice i'm funny <laughs> stuff <laughs> no i'm just saying like there's no need to compete because i don't feel like oh Oh, I gotta fuck you better than the other girl. Maybe in your head, that's that's what you're doing, but I don't care. I'm not here to compete. I'm here to I'm it. here to be myself. Mm -hmm. And if you like me more than others, and if you want something real with me, then you make it happen. I'm not here competing. See y'all, she's a cap. She's a Capricorn like me. Actually, her birthday is on the fifth, January fifth. Mine is January sixth. So I already know. All you do is just got to challenge your energy. No, but there is no challenge. I know there ain't no challenge. Though. No, not saying like, that those. Gonna, I'm not saying that those girls. Just, boop, boop, boop. No, I'm not saying that those girls are not good. I'm just saying, I'm just gonna be myself. I'm not gonna try to outdo them. I'm just gonna be who I am, and hopefully you hopefully. like it. Yeah, okay. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Somebody says she's very secure. He likes her and he definitely has the coins and flexibility to give her the life she wants. But again, guys, I don't need a rich man. I really don't. I know. I've dated guys who had no money and we were cool until it just, we broke up. But it wasn't like about a money situation. So, yeah. Hey, trust me, I'm hearing it all. Mm -hmm. I got it. Got my checklist. Yeah, okay. So what's your... Um... I got a piece of that lobster in my teeth. <laughs> but go ahead. What's your number one, like, <laughs> what do they call that? Yo, yo, that red, not the red flag, but something... Deal breaker? You, your deal, yeah, is that a thing? To me, it is. Okay. Uh, My first one is being cheap. And I know it might sound weird because yeah, I yeah. said that I don't need your money. But it's just, um, I'm willing to spend whatever on you. And the fact that you're not willing, and, and oh my God. And the fact that you're not willing to reciprocate. And again, I'm very reasonable. So it's never, I'm going to be like, hey, give me your whole bank account. It's never going to be like that. It's never going to be like, hey, I want this bag. It's $5,000. It's never going to be that. But like, if I sense a little bit of like cheapness towards me, I can't. Because you you spend on your, your yes food, so you yes and also I mean my dad was super cheap with me so I guess that's probably a, a trigger too you know but I can't I'm reasonable so for you to say no to me is wild y'all think she on bullshit chat like we gotta put it, get, uh, can you send me a thousand dollars right now for what though are you my man. No, I just want Okay, to... so no, I'm talking about my dude. Oh. Exactly. I mean, we can be together for that thousand. <laughs> like you need a thousand dollars. It don't matter about needing it. It's about getting it to see if you're about that life. I am. What well, I mean, I don't want well, I, I started saying I was like, what is a thousand dollars? But <laughs> But <laughs> Damn. no, I'm not saying you it's see a, she trying to flex without flexing. That was a good one. No, but it's not like I'm sending a thousand dollars to 10 people every day. It's not that. But like one day out of a month or two, you tell me, hey, give me a thousand. OK, here. Like it's it's not going to break my pockets. So. So, yeah. But um, somebody says send it then. I can send it. It's it's no issue. But mm -hmm. for what? That. Thank you. I'm sorry. We're really not eating. We're, we're talking so much. I'm going to eat all of this afterwards. <laughs> so do not uh, trash it or anything. Thank you. Um, is this, what is this? Duck breast. Duck breast. Duck breast. Ooh. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. 
Okay, so you so anything else? Anything else? I don't, I mean, I don't know why you're single. I mean, I mean, but like you said, maybe my demands on like the oh, I want you to be ready. I want you to where the scammers be at? Like, come on, they should have done where the scam is at. I mean, but okay, I'm not stupid either. I can see a scammer. I can see if you have no career, you don't got shit going on, but yet you're coming home with all this money. You don't leave the house. Like, we know a scammer. It's not hard to to spot them. Oh, okay. I, I mean, uh, man, this is. Mm-hmm. Um, come on, Mehdi. You want a man playing 2K all day and slinging dick and contribution to what you're doing is crazy. No, I never said I want a man who plays 2K all day. No, 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 you didn't say I that, never but said the description that. of the man that you you were fine with, that's 2K and dick. No. I say he needs to make like 70000 a, a year. How is that? You're not playing 2K all day long, making that money? No. Okay. He is playing 2K all day, slanging dick, and the money you give him. Is the 70000 a year? Shut sure, <laughs> up. <laughs> well, that's not who I'm going to go for. I'm going to. You need to have a job. You need to have something that's making you money. Okay. Okay. All right. So you know, fellas, you gotta you gotta get the you gotta have the job when you meet her, and then work that two K angle. <laughs> I mean, you can play two K when you come home from work. It just can be your life, unless you're you're a streamer and you make money of playing two K. You know that is different. Uh, there is a twenty dollars super chat. Thank you. The Roger report live. Uh, some women aren't masculine, just dysfunctional. Painting masculinity as a negative thing when women display certain traits will only breed dysfunction. Boys should want to uh, group up to be masculine, not dysfunctional. Okay. Hmm. Uh, all right, let's see. Okay, do I have another question for me? Um, no, that's the same. So, um, yeah. So, um, when you date in this man that you meet, yeah, right, and you try to have a baby within the first like thirty days, but nobody said that. Okay, within the first three months. Okay. Um, I forgot you can see me right here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can. Um, are y'all moving in together? Like, how does that work with you? The moving in together. Like, what is your like moving in? Are you moving in? Before you get pregnant, after you get pregnant, like what is okay? Um, I think it just depends on what happens, but uh, I'm not against, I would prefer to move in before I'm pregnant, yeah, mm -hmm. to kind of see how we vibe when we're in the same house 24 7, and um, and then we figure it out, but yeah, y'all move into your place or his place. It depends what's more comfortable. Um, I mean, if your place is better than mine, I think we should go to yours. If my place is better, I think a lot of men don't really like to move into their girl's house. So maybe we get a, a new place together. So it's not my old place, you know? So if you so because you pay rent on yours, mm -hmm. right? If y'all get a new place, mm -hmm. who's, whose rent is that on? Uh, on the both of us. Oh, so you would split the rent? Yes. I mean, it depends. Okay. If you're a millionaire and I make what I make, which oh, is. 70, you're talking about 70,000. Oh, he's 70. Why you give me the guy that's 70? Because that's, that's your bottom line. So that's the bottom split. line, but it could be better. Yeah, it could be. Okay. Um, we can split. We can split the rent because he's not making a lot, like, or more than me. So. We can split. He's not making more money than me, so I'm not expecting him to pay the whole rent. So we can split if he wants. Or I can pay a little more because I know it's going to hurt my pocket less than, than his. Right? Yes. I mean, that's, that, see, you sounding like a superwoman a in the world where... I can see why people is like, I don't know, because that's not. That's not real. That's not real. Right? You know, I've, I've heard that before. They were like, I don't think you're real. And I was like, well, try me then. Let's move in. Let's see who pays what. Like, but it was 
with one in particular, it was always like, no, nah, I don't believe you. You know, and I was, at some point I got tired of it and I was like, okay, you don't believe that I'm a good woman. Okay, we're good then. But, um, but no, but I, I think it's really, it's, I mean, I'm in America. America is great for what I do. I make money. I was able to, to play sports. So everything, not everything is great about America, but my experience in America has been great. But I feel like it's really an American thing to look at the men to just do everything. My parents, everybody worked. My mom worked, but she still cooked every meal. Um, my dad worked and uh, my stepdad, I should say, worked. And then they just split the bills for who, who pays what. Like it's not so much of, oh, I need to be taken care of. I'm making money. You're making money. We're just making it happen for ourselves, And that, that's what it is. So all this talk about oh money, this money, that to me is just crazy. Yeah, I mean, you grew up different, but here the standard, like, you know, when I talk to a lot of men and, you know, some of the women, y'all might want to, like, listen, write this down, mm. right? This because this this has nothing to do with you because you, you're you different, okay. right? But usually, Ooh, usually, you know, men don't want their woman to move okay. in with them. Oh, okay. Because of this, the the financial gain is the, the financial part of it is never calculated, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say when you when women say, yeah, I want a man who can at least take care of himself. So you have a man who finances his lifestyle is for him. So let's say he makes um, three thousand a month, right? And twenty five hundred is for bills, and the five hundred a month is for him just to, you know have to himself right mm -hmm. he's functional like that well okay. when a girl moves in with him um the bill she were paying actually goes back to her pocket so she, she don't the, pay rent so she don't pay rent anymore so she gets to pocket that money right and then when she moves in with him just naturally the bills go up the demand go up so that 500 dollars he has mm -hmm. for himself has to now be split with two people mm -hmm. Now he doesn't actually, he can't actually afford mm -hmm. the relationship because no woman is going to be using her oh, free 2K to help out in the house. And a lot of women don't understand that when you move in with a man, you his his money to you is the money you get to keep in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Your rent money that you were paying is actually yours now. That That's from him. So when you're saying, well, I need my nails done up, Use the 2K that yeah. he's giving you by moving in. But for a sure. lot of women don't look at that. And a lot of men... So they still want the men to pay for their nails now? Yeah. But a lot of men don't want to say they can't afford the lifestyle. So it's more self-sabotaging. Mm -hmm. So a male will rather self-sabotage the relationship so he doesn't look like he can't afford mm -hmm. the woman instead of just saying, listen, this is my finances right here. Mm -hmm. And this is what I can afford. Me adding to you, like mm -hmm. you're gonna have to, you know, at least can you buy the groceries and some? It has to be some type of talk before because before. you know most women don't realize their their the money that they're saving is when you move in with the man. Yeah, and now you now you want to keep your money and still demand him to do little things in my hair, my nails, and what's in that. Yeah, and that becomes a taxing part of it. So that's why a lot of men don't want. But not, but you can move. You can move in if you want. Shut up. You can move in. I got a lot of rooms. Okay, thank you. I'm only one. <laughs> Whatever. No, I mean, but to me, that's just crazy how we move in together, trying to make a life for ourselves, and yet I'm looking at you to just—I don't know. I'm gonna drain your pockets until you have no more money, and then what? I move on to the next guy. I thought it was we were supposed to build together, so. I don't see why I should keep all my money. Even if like it's a man that wants to pay for the whole rent, because I know a lot of men, it makes them feel like, you know, I'm taking care of my of my woman. So I get that, but I, I really believe she should participate on other stuff than if she don't pay for that. Or the nails, why the nails become your responsibility all of a sudden. You've been paying for your nails, you've been paying for your rent. Why now I gotta take everything? To me, that's crazy. So or she should pay for trips or something. She should pay for for entertainment, for dates. I think. I if think I'm not paying, if I can say if I can two thousand dollars a month on rent, we're rich. I just think the idea of when we're trying to 
when when people are trying to date, I just think that our expectations is what actually messes it up. Ooh. Right. Um, oh, okay. Block. So we got to do it. Okay. So it's hot right now. Yeah, okay. Really Let's uh, see her. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah we got the hot rock so put and one on there a yeah no fingers i know i'm just gonna all right let me read some super chats while we're here um oh so what i was saying i think the idea of when we get together with when men and women get together it's um it's an expectation mm -hmm. men want to pay for the bills because they feel they, they can control mm. you know they, they feel like they have the power over the woman the woman wants everything being taken care of but they don't want the man to control them. control so now you go into the relationship with a jaded version yeah of what you think the relationship should be like and i think that's the problem okay okay they're complaining about the super chat that i'm not reading so let me read a few um Melly, my family wild. I don't know. Okay. Uh Melly ask on to use that underdog check to sponsor a date with me and you. Keep it in the family. That's Mate Mateo Lee Arenas. You know him? Mateo Lee Arenas. I guess he got your last name. No, he's smooth though. Um, <laughs> no, Mateo. He cute. Shit. Yeah. Um Anyways, girl, she want lazy niggas. What? No, I do not want lazy niggas. Stop it. How can a man who makes 70K afford to not be cheap? He can't get goals accomplished burning his bread up. She ain't gonna burn his bread up. He can use her bread. Y'all gotta start thinking. Listen to what she's saying. I mean, but 70 is is not bad. Like it's we're not saying you're going on vacation every every month, but I think you can pay your bills and probably still have what? Maybe a thousand leftovers, maybe? Is that what it is? Do the math. 70 divided by 12. Because I think 70 is pretty decent, depending on where you live. So how much is that a month? That's uh, $5,800, but after taxes, you're talking about 3000 3, Okay, okay, yeah, let's yeah, say, yeah. okay, let's say it's 3000 after why taxes. Get, this is why but then, okay. sounding wild. No, but wait, 3000 you pay rent, Depending on where you live, let's say let's let's go high. Let's say you live in LA, you're by yourself, two thousand. So in LA, you live in what? Hollywood, North Hollywood, somewhere yeah. in a one day. It's like seventeen, two thousand. <laughs> about. Uh -huh. So you got a thousand left. A thousand left. Car note three hundred. <laughs> we hope. Gas, two hundred a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so, see how, so you, you have see. almost nothing left. I, I hear. So that's why, but that's why, like, even. But that's why you gotta be, I think you gotta be creative. You gotta take the girls. First of all, you gotta pick the right girl. Don't go get the girl that you know she wants you to spend money on her like that. You, you cannot, because that's not the girl for you. You don't have those type of finances. And then I feel. And 70 grand is still. Uh, oh, you didn't of, even eat in those. In a the, lot of those, a, a lot of men, 70 grand is a lot when the average household or just. American man is what twenty seven thousand? No, it's more. It's like what? forty. Forty thousand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean it's tough. But hey, get your money up if you want to date. And you. Or, or that, just that's buying just. I mean, that's even buying. It's expensive. Two hundred dollars is like here and there, but you spend two hundred dollars one time. If your rent is two thousand, your car three hundred, gas two hundred. You didn't even eat yet, <laughs> and back, then a, a two a two hundred on some head or whatever. Back page, fellas. Back page. A little cheaper. <laughs> um, if you make more money, uh, why Skinner Man Cave? Thank you. If you make more money, who is the leader? I believe a man is always the leader. I don't give a fuck how much I make, how much he makes. He is the leader. I need to be led. I, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm sorry. Um, yes. It's hard for women naturally to be leaders because of the emo emotional, emotional, yeah, you know, feelings, and you can't make decisions that has to do with emotions and feelings. So it's 
is by nature it's hard for um women to to naturally lead because they're leading mm-hmm. with, uh, their feelings yeah i mean you're gonna have the the, the the women that are you know borderline you know damn near men mentalities where mm-hmm. you know but uh, for the most part you know um and fellas listen the, we got to stop this shit. If your woman is masculine, be feminine. <laughs> fuck her. Fuck with her. Shit. Fuck with her. What, what? Do what she will do to you. Nine her all goddamn day. Tell her she ain't giving you no <laughs> attention. Right? Right? Give, do, do the same shit. Just nag her all day. Bay. Bay, are you listening to me? You're not listening to me. What about my emotion? Do that shit to her all day. I guarantee you she'll realize how annoying she is and she'll let you do it. Great. Great advice. Yeah, I'm trying to help. Uh, yeah, we can tell. Magnus Rhythm, thank you for the $10 super chat. Agent Zero personality showing what an arrogant fool he is. Stop insulting our intelligence. We all know you can spell no, okay? Uh, but yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> you've been trying to chew her up and spit her out since jump. She she a hoe for saying she wants a child? What? I don't. I don't. I, you going at both of us, right? That's... I I don't know. No, that was a question. She a hoe? Uh, but he misspelled, so I don't know what he means. He put H O E, so it's probably a hoe. Yeah. H O E. Yes. H uh, O R. I'm sorry. H O. Oh, H O R. <laughs> yeah, but I think E is next to the R, so that's probably what he meant for saying she wants a child. Who I, said you're Yeah, I don't think you said that. I would have, no. I would have remembered, probably. Um, what if you don't care about the bills? Just say for the big bill. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't understand. I don't know. I don't what understand it. Have? What if he don't care about the bills? Just say for the big bill. Just say for the big bill. Okay, realistically, like, if if um, uh, a woman was moving in with me and I was like, she gets whatever money she was spending on her rent and she was saving that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, coming to live with me, I mean, she wouldn't have no expectations on obligations to take care of mm-hmm. anything, right? Um, it's mostly like if you see something out of place, just fix it. Fix it. Yeah. I right? just put it back like you know mm-hmm. um, if you can i mean uh, like i don't need you to take out the trash. Like if you just naturally just wash the dishes that's in there mm-hmm. you do that but there's really no de- no demand okay on on moving in um like but if i didn't like if i didn't have you know my lifestyle you know, and I'm my my girl is trying to move in with me. It's like, okay, listen, I'll take care of these bills. Can you just not for? It. <laughs> Damn, she over here drooling. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all, hey y'all, see this? Damn, I did to you. <laughs> no, because you, you're fucking funny. No, I know this. Look, you trying to then you listen no. to me. What you thinking? You got to make me turn this camera off. Like I don't know if like no. It was no. in your eye. Did y'all see her in her eyes, y'all? Hey, did y'all catch that? Did y'all catch that? No, you're hilarious. No, I'm just did y'all y'all seen that, right? She was in this moment like, like you was. <laughs> no, <laughs> whatever. Oh shit! Oh shit! See, hey, the chef cooking the hot rock shit, steaming. Somebody talking about me's forehead. I know you see this. I got a big forehead. <laughs> Yeah, whatever okay no but but time. it's funny because i wanted whatever i wanted to ask you when you let a girl in okay when was the last time you you live with a girl three four yeah uh, 2018 maybe okay uh well thank you french tv french should be talking about uh a real man will appreciate you maybe a fuck boy will try to use you stay stay you maybe a boy then fuck boy Thank you, French B. Oh, you can just be a real fuck boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, caught you glancing. You was whatever. Was... So okay, so it's been four or five years. You haven't lived with a living girlfriend or whatever. Um, what do you expect when I know you were kind of t- touching on it, but like as far as okay, finances, what do you expect? You expect her to pay anything? 
No. No. Does she have her own job? Have her own money? Okay. So does she? she? I don't know. She oh, uh, yeah, she has. I mean, I don't know, because what what type of women you deal with? Do they have jobs? No, 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 no. <laughs> they some, have jobs. Yeah, some got, yeah. No way. Oh, see, I'm one of those like I, I go for high powered women. Like, oh, like, okay. CEOs, cops. Oh. You know, presidents and stuff, and I try to see if I can like make them. Okay, great. So I don't go after. I don't go after like broke. Or um, nothing going on. Like you, not not you. Oh like, wow! Like, <laughs> no, I don't YouTube know, is like, bad, uh, huh? The little Instagram models. Okay, no, you I don't. don't go, you don't no, do that. No, no, I go for like you, the president of this and that and that, and I want to see if I can get you to do the things that that you like. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, so okay, let's say okay, so, so you have a girl move in and she works. Mm-hmm. So any bills she needs to pay? No. No, zero. Hmm. Zero. Like okay. okay, so like with me personal. Like if I I have kids, so you know I I have a lot of things to do. Like some days, like okay, can you pick up the kids from school for me? Oh, okay. You know, like something like that. Oh. It's not. You know, and that's you know, not just, money. That's just yeah. Doing favors or helping out. Yeah. Uh, that she need to cook. I see you got chefs. Do you have a chef all the time? Uh, yes or no? No. No. Okay. So that she need to cook. If she knows how to cook and she cooks, then yes. Wow. Like, like I'm not expecting her to cook, so I'm not gonna be coming home like, where the motherfucking <laughs> food at? <laughs> like, no, like, I mean, a lot of men be talking about, oh, women don't don't be knowing how to cook, but like it's a kind of like a deal breaker. So it's it's weird, not weird, but surprising that you would say you don't need your women to cook. Like, so, I, no. I, that's what I'm saying because I've never had it, so there's. Um, um, My chat's like out, crazy. You know, I eat out. Okay. Um, you know, when was it Uber, DoorDash? Um, okay. DoorDash. All of that. Okay. Right. For the most part, unless I'm doing something. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they're saying maybe we'll burn the shit out of your rice. They'd be playing with me. I can cook some rice. Uh, you can't cook no rice? I can. I can. Oh. I can. Uh, what else? What other expectation would you have? Uh, oh, that she needs to clean. You know, I'm like, giving all of these because they feel like if she don't pay, she got to do something in the clean, house. Like so what? she a could house? clean, yeah, the house. That's a job for here. So no, like I mean, she clean. don't clean. Like the room. Yeah, what like, does she do? Just fuck you, know you and that's it, and help out with the kids sometimes. You no, know I mean like like that's it. Making a bed, put your bed back together, like like tidy up in the room. That's and stuff it. Like that. I mean, like that's what I said. It's like. You know, if you see a pillow on the floor, don't just walk over it like that ain't my pillow. Like, I mean, yeah, just that's wild. Okay. Treat the, like if you're moving in, treat the house like it's your house. Okay. Right? You know, treat it like it's your house. So if you're not, if you don't allow dishes in your sink, don't allow it here. That's for sure. Okay. And um can you do that? Yeah, that's easy. I mean, I do all of, shut up. <laughs> I do all of that for myself. That's I mean, and I pay and I pay the rent. <laughs> Oh, and okay. I pay all of this, so that's pretty easy. So what, how would you say that she's enhancing your life? Okay, with Like besides just the, doing the little me, dishes me, me. or whatever, like what would be the, the upside of living with a woman? Because, you know, you, like you said earlier, she, she's going to nag, she's going to do the woman thing. So mm-hmm. what is... What are the perks of her being here? Uh, making <clears throat> making the life easier as a whole, right? So, like, you know, I have, you know, five kids, four of them mm-hmm. play sports. Okay. Right? So, on the weekends, sometimes I'm just an Uber driver. Got gotcha. To the point where I'm just driving from gym to gym, dropping off, picking up. So, mm-hmm. you know, so I miss a lot of kids' games, but I'm active dropping them off and picking mm-hmm. them up. You know, I got to drop one off at this gym at nine and the other one has a, a game at 10, you know, 40 minutes away. So I'm you seeing just driving back, driving. back and forth. So, mm-hmm. you know, her taking, you know, one to the game relieves a lot of pressure for me. For sure. Um, you know, maybe like her being an assistant, but not the point where it seems like you work for me or controlling mm-hmm. me, just keeping me on task. Okay. Right. Um, you know, 
that's great. Like right before here, you know, I'm sweating. I'm sweating because, you know, um, <laughs> I was uh, in a meeting with a company called uh, Playback. Okay. Where they have the rights to NBA games and um, on their platform. Now, now I will have the rights to watch games live and commentate and talk on mm-hmm. their platform. So I was uh, finalizing that deal. They were showing me how to use it. So, uh, like, just keeping me on task because I move so fast so and so fast. much that be forgetting. I lose a lot of deals because I just forget. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, so just that person. But, you know, that's but. Oh, so she can help you make more money in a way. In a, in a way, yes. Okay. Making me more money, just just keeping me in in a schedule. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Can you do that? If, why you keep on asking me? I can mean, I do that? I'm, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not difficult. Like what you're asking for is really not difficult. It's not. Um, shut up. I see. I see. Oh, I, I mean, I see it right here, and okay. I saw it on the screen too. So, um, okay. Well, some somebody talking about money, and somebody said, uh, "Melly, make uh, do not sign a prenup. Make him feel the sting of love." All right. What do you feel about prenup? Prenup. Since now she moved in, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, wait before we go there, do you want to get married? Yeah, and if the right partner. That's the, the, the partner I described. Yes, of course. Oh, okay. Um, so, would you make her sign a prenup? Yes. Why? Because um, if she don't sign a prenup, then we're using the government's prenup. Okay, so in the prenup that you're gonna make, or do you? Okay, you want to explain what you mean by government prenup? So okay, so the clear. government has their prenup, which is fifty fifty, mm-hmm. where um, fifty fifty uh, on the, what you have what before. Have, yeah, what I have before. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here here's the real rules. Here's the real reason behind prenups. I know, like when women and men are arguing about prenups. This is the reason prenups are actually in place. Um, back, 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 back time before we, you know, okay. when the royal families was running the world, all the money they were accumulating, right? You know, these, you know, billion dollar families, these royal families, when one heir dies, the other heir inherits their money. Well, they stayed in, the family stayed in power. So the government had to try to find a way of, getting some of that money. Mm-hmm. So they put it in the play where when money transfers hands, 50, right? So if the father who is a billionaire dies and his money goes to his son, mm-hmm. the government now gets to go in there because it's a new billionaire, it's a new guy with money. Okay. So he gets taxed. So that uh, family um, wealth just got chopped in half. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. so basically this is the rule of thumb. Let's say me and you are married. Mm-hmm. Right, me and you are married, um, and I have a hundred million. Okay. If you if we get divorced without a prenup, I you get, get half. You get half, fifty. I get fifty. Mm-hmm. The problem is this: your fifty is not fifty. You're not gonna get taxed for money that was already taxed when it, when it was under my thumb. Yeah. So now instead of fifty, you actually got twenty five percent. So okay. instead of 50 million, you got 25, which you don't care because no, 50%. Yeah, 50%. 50. Okay. So the gut now the government just tax money that they already taxed, they get they a free 25 again. million. Yeah. Right. So they get a free 25 million. So I, I lose 50, but technically 25 million is going to the government, government. who already taxed mm-hmm. me. So um they have their rules and their schemes on why they they love divorce because they get the jump into money that they already taxed because mm-hmm. it goes to, to the them. woman and they and get they, to tax them now. So yeah. it's, they're dub- it's, a, it's a double dip scheme. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, so when if you I'm make getting your divorced own. without, if I'm getting divorced, the, we will have an understanding of like, I'd rather give you the, the money. The, I'd rather give you the money. So like, if you want half, and you already got me for half. Like, you know, we I didn't you didn't sign a prenup. Mm-hmm. And you're like, we're gonna go. I was like, listen, I'll give you, <laughs> I'll give you the 25, 25. 
So they don't get they the, don't tax the, it, but I and give I you can extra, keep, and I then give, you can keep that twenty five. But I give you an extra ten million, and yeah. I keep the fifteen. So instead of fifty million, I get sixty five million. Instead of twenty five million, you get thirty five million. Gotcha. We both win. The government don't get no more money. But then we're still married. Huh? <laughs> but then we're still, we're still married. <laughs> so you cannot remarry. I cannot remarry. <laughs> That was a one try and we're done. No, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, I know women don't care because it's, it's all positive money for you. Mm -hmm. So you don't really I mean, I care, agree. but that's, but that was the rule that they want money to transfer so they can, yeah. they can take it. So they want you to take your 25 million, get married, get a divorce. Again, so now that shit's in twice, you know, you got 12 million, he got 12, now he got six. And that's how, you know, so that's how yeah. the system really works. Yeah. But that's as I'm wild. telling you right now, I'm just be honest with you. If we we got married mm -hmm. and you want half of my fortune, mm -hmm. I should be able to get half of you. What does it mean getting half of me? That means that seven days in a week, three and a half days, you minds. Even if you get married. But we're divorced. You don't want to be with me no more. We're divorced and I got to give half my money. But you don't want to be with me no more. I know. All right. So why you still need half of me? And what's happening in those three uh, three days? Yes. What's happening? Yes. I don't know what yes means. <laughs> yes. What's happening? Huh? What's happening in those three days? Rent is due. The landlord's knocking on the door. So even if you get remarried, it's going to be part of the contract that well, no, three and a half days. You think you're going to just take 50 million <laughs> and then just go be <laughs> with another bit? Oh, girl, you better. The landlord here. Hey, it's Monday. <laughs> but you're cool with that, right? No, but I don't even oh. see why you would want to I still have I half pay. of me when we're divorced. Because I paid for it. That's I lost why. half my fortune. Then you got like, if, I'm, if I got to be like, Ugh. Well, you, you gotta be like shit too. That's only fair. <laughs> like I don't even know why they haven't even asked that in the court. Like, yeah, hold, yeah, hold on, y'all. <laughs> <Whatever. laughs> yeah, hold, hold on, she's taking half the shit I built. Like, like she only brought her body. Do I get half of the body? Right, you know, three and a half days should be mine. And then you know, if she get remarried, she got to tell her husband I only got three and a half days for you because <laughs> I got my ex. <laughs> I got my ex. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. She likes that, right? No, I don't like that. I mean, but I get the the concept of the prenup. Yeah, that's that's. I think that's wild that a woman can get half of a man's money when she didn't even contribute to that money. You know, that's pretty crazy. No, I mean, but now you know why. That that's why mm -hmm. they 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 allow um, half the fortune to be taken because they want. The government wants their app. They want to be able to yeah. find a way to get into that situation. Okay, so so let's say you do the, the prenup, so you can decide what's in it. Yeah. So in it, you decide that everything you had before her, you don't give her anything if you get a divorce, or you still give her a little bit? Before? Yeah. No? No. She gets nothing of the before, but she gets half of the during. Okay, so not, okay, that's tricky. Okay. Right. Okay. So, uh, but see, I mean, I'm I'm flexible. I'm fair. Right. Um, okay. I mean, but can you be fair to a woman that treat you treated you poorly though? Where we, we don't know why we broke up, so I can't say that oh, okay. it was her fault or my fault. Okay. I'm just saying that if if I'm if I'm if I'm like some rising star. Or I have this empire that's already been built, and we get married, mm -hmm. the empire's already in play. Right? Okay. So getting half of something that's already established. That's fair. Ain't either. fair. Yeah. Um, everything we do together, mm -hmm. right? So if we built a company and we did this, and you know, um, yeah, you half. There's no there's okay. no question about it. But you know, if we that's what I said, we started some type of business together. Um, the tap. No matter if I use my money, if you say, "Hey, this is it. This is what we're gonna do," and I'm using my money to do it, mm -hmm. you know, and you're you're working it. Yeah, we can do half. It's it's okay. 
it's, no, it's, that you know seems I mean? fair. It's just, it's just I, I just the idea of you know we could be married for this short period of time, and it, it took me you know 20, 25 years, thirty years to build my empire, and you can come in for two, three months, and and then you are liable to get half of that. You know, what I mean that's yeah, that's discouraging. That's crazy. You know, and and that's that's discouraging because like. Women want to get married, but now you have men who don't want to get married because women don't want to sign prenups. So it's like mm -hmm. most women are are not married because you know you're, you're you're not understanding. Like it took me. You really feel like women like a man proposes, she says yes, and then they have the conversation about the prenup, and you really think she says no and ha don't get married. I think she still goes through it. I mean, for the most part, like even with a prenup, you still got to be tricky on how you bring that along because, mm -hmm. you know, pressuring, like you're supposed to have, I mean, to, to really, if you're going to put a prenup in, the prenup should already be signed before the thought of even, before you even set in dates of marriage. Yeah. There shouldn't be going through the marriage and y'all talking about the prenup because it becomes all stressful, mm -hmm. you know, in situations like that. So before y'all even start talking about being married, and doing all of that, this should already be a prenup sign. Um, okay. <laughs> don't get divorced. How about that? <laughs> How about that? I yeah. agree. Yeah. But hey, sometimes you don't decide. It's the woman who decides. So, you know. Oh, it might be you, but, you know. I, 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 like I see some prenups. It's usually the, the woman, though. Yeah, it's the woman. Like, you know, the, the, the dude cheated, right? You know. The dude cheated, and it's like, mm. like when, when women put that in the, the prenup, like you can't you cheat, cheat on, on me. me I get that, high. That sounds stupid. <laughs> like, what the hell's the cheat got to do with my bank account? <laughs> Are you crazy? Because you broke us up. It don't matter. You didn't have to leave. <laughs> so I have to say it through all the bullshit. Be disrespected, all of that, and I gotta stay. I'm not saying I should get half because you cheated. I'm not talking about I'm that. Like, but it's, it's it's one of those things. Is we're you're 28, 29, 30, you know, you got this dude that's that gets women. Mm. And then you use this little oh, it's like cheated. a cheat code. Like, yeah, you mm -hmm. know, you cheat on me, yeah. Knowing damn well, like it's in your best interest. Yeah. For him to cheat. For sure. Like if if if, if I'm a woman and my dude's I'm a gonna want him to cheat. Yeah, if my dude's a billionaire and, yeah. and we have a cheat cost, I'm sending all bad bitches this way. This is what he likes. This is what he wants to wear. This is what you yeah do that. Get it. Go do that. Get, yeah, and, and yeah. I'm gonna you know encourage it because I can get half. Like mm -hmm. it's just it's dumb. I don't even know why we have that. For sure. Okay. What well, do you feel about prenups? What I feel, um, I think it's fair. Which one? To have one. To have one. Um, if you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Stop. <laughs> if you, um, yeah, especially if you made your money alone, I do feel like if the marriage don't work, you sh she shouldn't get half. Especially like if you did make some money, I'm sure she benefited during the the marriage mm -hmm. of that money. So sh she had enough, she used it enough, and when it's done, then it's done. I I do believe though, like if I'm a stay home mom and I don't work that I should get some money and not just child support because I put to the side my career. If she had a career, she put to the side her career and now she's focusing on like the home, her man and the kids. So if it doesn't work out, she shouldn't be ass out with like no money at the end of the day. No, even for the stay home mom, you feel like she should live with does no stay, money. Does she stay on her own? or No, she, she live with you. No, I mean, did she stay because she wanted to stay home? Did she put her, did she put her career or did he tell her? Um, ooh, I guess it's different. Because, yeah. I mean, what do you need? I mean, you know, if you're both making money and you work in this, this, this I mean, it's not the same. What either. kind of career was she? I mean, I mean, if she, she has a career where it's like a nine to five, she needs to go to an office then, you know, she can't raise the kids the same way. I'm not saying kids cannot be raised like that. I was raised like that, you know, mm -hmm. home by myself for lunch and stuff, going to school by myself. So it worked. Um, I think I'm okay. But um, if that's her desire to know, I really want to raise my kids and stay home and be more around for my kids, even if that's her who wants that, I still feel like she should get you some know, money. What's funny is it's, 
I mean, I, I can't. I, I was going to say that, you know, if you was a good one and he messed up, mm -hmm. usually he'd take care of you, but that's not a, that's not a real thing. Yeah. Because if you left him and he really did value you, one thing he's going to hold against you is money so you can come back. So, mm. yeah, so nah, yeah. Okay. Pick wisely. Seriously. Pick wisely. Um, all right. I, I saw a question, but yeah, I'm not against it. Um, I would sign a prenup and that's that. Yeah. Hey, listen, I, I want to, hey, hey, my chat, you know, we're not going to talk about her chat because it's, it's, it's goofballs over there. I've been in, I've been in their chat before. Hey, my chat, do y'all think I got her? Is she hooked? Oh, I'm hooked. Right, right, right. Uh, do, wait, ones if she's hooked. <laughs> Well, it's in your eyes. I think they can see it in your eyes. I mean, you're a cool person. Hooked is a big word. Like, you're no, it's cool. Not a word. It's four letters. Do y'all think? Yeah, one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She's hooked. See, they know. Mm, no. I mean, hey, whatever they think. You spend that night? No. Oh, yes. Uh, so I have a question. Don't hesitate. No, I didn't. Um, you can leave that too, but I, you know, thank you. Uh, so there is a question Are there any red flags that you see with Gil Melly and vice versa? Gil, time to spice it up. You start. Do you see some red flags in me? Red flags? Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, the only red flag is you know, well, I guess it, it, it the red flag is. Is your demeanor real? But because, no, 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 what I'm saying is like, you know, how you say you'll take care of your man, this and this, and, but now it matches why you, when you make the decision, it has to be done now because when you, when you want it, you want to go. There's mm -hmm. no, if you, I think if, if you still have doubts, you don't want that person. You want the person that says, all right, let's just go. We're going, this is where mm -hmm. we're going. So it is not, it's a, not a red flag because if you hear the whole part of why, then it makes sense. Okay. So it's either, you know, either it's a yes or no, there's no gray area with you, mm -hmm. right? It's just like either we're here or we're not. I'm not going to yeah. a gray. I'm not going to say, hey, we're going to tiptoe. We're going to wait a couple months, figure out how, no, it's like either we going in or not. Yeah. So it's not a red flag. That's not, that's not. All right. So no red flags? I'm perfect. Perfect. I don't. I mean, we got to see if you use the soul sucker first and all that other stuff. No, I'm just saying from the the, the, the comments. The comments, not me. I didn't say that. I, I just read it. The comments said, is she a soul sucker? You didn't see it? That's no, I didn't chat. see it. Yeah, it's sure. my chat. I can see both chats. So, no red flags. Not yet. Not I yet. Seen any. Okay. Uh, do I see any red flags in him? Well, what? That's the question for me, too. I don't care about no red flags. It's, I don't hey. give a fuck. It's my question. Oh. They asked me a question. Can I answer? Thank you. Um, uh, I mean, yes. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't really of know. Of course, yes. I got 24 holes. <laughs> I got cold. And that's not real black for you. To me, a man with a lot of women is not really a red flag. It's until the right one comes along, I think you'll be willing to, to do what you got to do. So to me, that's not a red flag. That's somebody enjoying his life for now. And if that's the way you want to enjoy your life for the rest of your life, that's just what it's going to be. So to me, Shoot that's not... Shot, girl. Shoot. I'm not shooting nothing. Okay. So that's not really a red flag for me. Um no, the, the, the red flag is having four kids with the same woman that you don't like. That's a red flag. What, yes. what, why is that a red flag? Can you explain, wait, can you explain that? That seems like loyalty. <laughs> <laughs> That's not loyalty. To me, that comes off as dumb. Dumb. Yep. So that wouldn't be loyal that they're no. willing to stick it out and no that's not loyal 
Like, I believe you got to enjoy your life. I can understand staying for the kid, but it should have been one kid. Like, let's say you, let's say she got pregnant, however she got pregnant, you're together, not together on the break, whatever. And, um, but then you know her personality by then, mm -hmm. right? And then the fact that you decide to stay with her, I'm like, I commend you for that. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm going to stay until my kid is grown and then we can separate. But having more kids with her when you felt like a character wasn't right for you, to me, that's a red flag because I'm like, why you you kept on having kids? So can we flip that? Tell me. Right, if it's a woman who has four kids by this dude that's, right, we know he ain't shit. Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. That's a red flag too. I'm they, like, they, why are you keeping on having... But, but everybody would say because she was a loyal woman. Right? And she tried to I, make it work. Would, she tried to make it stick. I'm sorry, I wouldn't say that. Oh. The only thing I would say is, yeah, keep on stay with with the man to raise the kid, maybe, but not so, have okay, more. So what, okay, what but makes not that have red more. flag? So it's dumb. To me, it's dumb to. Okay, before I talk, because I've seen you talk about her. So, did you like her? Did you think she had a good character? When we first met. She was fun. Sure. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you found out. After, when did you find out her character was was foul? Yeah, three weeks. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so three weeks, and you still went and had one kid with her, at least one. It's a man thing, right? The psychopath always no. has the best, right? So when you're young, you just like that feisty stuff, and you okay. You, well, know what it is when women act like that. I, I think we think they love us, right? I think it, you know, at that age, you know, you know you're in your 20s when mm -hmm. someone is, you know, you know, breaking windows, sneaking over. It's exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. She oh, loves wow. me climbing. I mean, I've had the, the ladder <laughs> go to the window, trying to climb into the window, right? You, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's cute, right? You think that person that you, you, I you, don't know. You think it's love when it's not. I think maybe you didn't get the nobody t taught you what was love because to me there is no man that do some craziness that i'm gonna be like oh i love that oh he loves me so much no i'd be like you're fucking psycho yeah you might love me on another level where you might even kill me but i don't want that type of love i want the regular love where you know we <laughs> <laughs> regular when we want to make each other happy we're not trying to kill nobody that's what i want so so yeah, so maybe that's from your childhood. You know, no problem, nobody no like taught you what was love, and now you see that, and you're like, ooh, no, but, she but, loves me. But, I mean, maybe but, she loved you too. I'm not even saying she didn't love you, but that's something. No, but most men, most men, are not taught to receive love. Mm -hmm. Right, we're taught to give it. No one's taught us how to receive it, so we don't know what we're what we're supposed to be looking at. Okay. Right. So that's that's a that's a problem too sometimes mm -hmm. where we don't know we don't know how to be loved. Right. We don't know what it looks like. You know, you know, you you rub my head and I really go to sleep. You you know that might be like, oh he's weak, right? We don't that's what I'm saying. We don't yeah. we don't know what it's supposed to look like when when we're being loved on. Mm -hmm. Right. So most dudes when you're trying to buy them gifts, most dudes reject them. Really? Right? They don't know how to express that. Oh, thank you. Like mm -hmm. inside, they're cheering that they got something. But on the outside, they're going to pretend like, oh, oh thank you, show you that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But they don't know how to receive. You know, receive. You know, that hasn't been taught. Okay. You know, that that has to be. I, I don't even know who teaches, what side teaches that. Um, like like a, a father to a, a daughter, right? You. We, sh we, we, we show that love, hey, love you, this and that. We show what she should want from a male, mm -hmm. right? Most women, when they're raising their sons, they're raising them, they're loving them, not showing them how they need to be loved. It's, it's a different, yeah. right? And, and that's when a father is a play too, like, you know, like watching the two, watching how she rubs his feet. And, you know, so you can just mm -hmm. get a grasp of what it is. But for the most part, it's, it's more the 
I want they, it's the toxic type of behavior where you know you're cussing me out, you call me, you know, we got yeah. this, you know, uh, fight the fuck, you know, relationship, and it just seems, you know, like this because you have the energy at that age. Mm-hmm. You know, once you get older, you're like, ah, fuck this. Yeah. So, so, the, but that's why to me it's a red flag. Okay. That to keep on having kids with the same woman, staying with her for that one kid, I get it. But. That's not, a, that's not a bad. That's not a bad red flag. It is bad. No, nah, it is bad because it makes the me question. Twenty-four would be a red flag. Not to me. Uh, we're asking about mine, not yours. And um, yeah, I mean, because then it, it makes women wonder, like, is that what you like? Is that the type of woman that you like? And if you feel like she's not a good woman, then why is it the type of woman you like? You know. No. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey is not about a woman not being good. It's about a man trying to beat her ass because he likes that. I'm sorry. I just, that's, my, my bad. Okay. Well. Well. So that's it. That would be the one of the red flags that I would see for you. Okay. Yeah. That's all. Um, I'll take that red flag. You'll take it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So so that's it. I think that's that's all I, that I have for you. Um, yeah. Do you do you have anything more? I think the chat. Uh, no. I uh, wait. Hey, I'm on. I'm in. Go hey, ahead. Chat, Go ahead. Do you think? Do you think we should date? Oh. Like well, listen. If, <laughs> like, like, do a poll. If the poll says yes, then right. Then what? If we might as well. Might no, as well then go we gotta try. listen. Okay, sure. Then we might as well go ahead and try. You know what I mean? Because you don't care about the the, the Kobe, the twenty fours, right? You know, because you you gonna beat them out. So we ain't worried about that. Um. So. Mm, well, right, so somebody said, "Many are you giving him ass tonight?" No, sir. Huh? You heard. No, I was. Were you talking to me? I didn't ask. I said no, sir. I answered that question. Ooh. Don't play stupid. <laughs> Ooh, <that's> yeah. Spicy. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I think that's it. I think I've read most of the stuff, or I at least put it on the screen. Um, yeah. What, what did you think? What did you think about this live? What What y'all guys thought about it? No, I, I think they they probably got a better understanding of you. You're the one who talked the most. <laughs> yes, but my 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 chat already know I'm crazy. But you come off as like masculine, right? How you talk, this not, but they can see. I don't think I come off masculine. Well, how how you talk, yeah. So, because what it's a little aggressive and I curse, so that's masculine. It's it seems right, you know, someone mm-hmm. wouldn't say, Oh, she's a feminine woman when you actually are, right? You're actually a feminine woman that has just this type of energy, just as like, <laughs> you know, what I mean? <laughs> you know, so unless you start asking questions, it's kind of is that why you don't like them interviewing you on your, on your pineapple show? Is that why you don't like being a girl? Because I'm masculine? No, 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 no. Because you don't like people asking you a lot of questions and you being in a hot seat. No, you know with me, I really like listening. I enjoy listening. So it's not I I don't want to be asked questions, but I really like to understand people. So I prefer to ask a question and then the answer and yeah. But no, that's not why I'm not. I mean, I'm not going to have men shooting their shot on my show all the time. Like, the show is not about me. It's about the girl and whoever comes to talk to the girl. So. I think you. Can we. I don't say I can't do it all. Like, y'all think she's actually softer than she really appeared before. Like, she's really. But you're I, soft. I am soft, oh. but I don't try to come off as strong. I just. Say what I gotta say, and that's it. But well, that seems strong in today's. Oh, so I can say what I think. In today's perspective, that will come off as strong. I realize that you are. 
They say so, yeah, she a crybaby. Huh? They say she a crybaby. They say feminine. See, uh, that's what said, that's softy. She's real. She gonna rob you, girl. Rob you, rob. Huh? They say she's gonna rob you, girl. <laughs> well, you know, I, I wouldn't try. You wouldn't try? To rob you, no. You got what guns, you? no? <laughs> <laughs> would you just love on me? No, I would just leave. Oh. No. Okay. So I mean, you you keep on saying those things. You you want me? Because you keep on. <laughs> I, I mean, I we gotta ask. You gotta change the way you say it. <laughs> what you you want me? It seems because you you say. I was asking. I mean, you 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 know. No, but I'm asking you. I I answered. So I now you, it's I your time one. to Listen, answer. I, no, I'm saying I the number one the number one spot lane it, is it's open. open. Hey, you go ahead and drive your car right there. You good? No, but answer the question. I just did. No. The lane is open. Answer by yes or no. The, the lane is open. Just say yes or no. Yes or no. Do you want me to want you? That is not my question. My question is, do you want me? I'm going to say yes. Okay. Somebody say, say yes, man. I know, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm in there, y'all. <laughs> I don't know why you think that, but um, they say Melly will be adding a body to the list tonight, if not in a week. You guys have no faith in me. Y'all know me. I'm sorry. This ain't got nothing to do with you. Apparently, it has something to do chat. with me, too. This is my chat. This is my chat. Y'all know, know me, chat. I'm about to shoot my shot. Oh, are you? Because we didn't even eat dinner like that. We just did this. So after this, you, you We're gonna want eat. to eat. Yeah, what we have already. Yeah. Uh, question. Um, you know how... Okay, you've seen me online. You see my Instagram, you see how I dress because I get a lot of, so, okay. So I've been online and I've seen men review my content. They, they've been reviewing our interaction and, um, you know, so they have some, some words for me, you know, not the nicest. You said men? Men. I mean, it's probably some girls too, but I've seen men reviewing my content and having a lot, a lot of things to say about um how could i have a man like the man that i want the, the man that i describe doesn't want me because of what i do online and how i am what do you feel about that first of all it's a man telling me female pages like breaking it down is it a positive thing or is it a negative thing that he's reviewing in general or that yeah, like, is, is he positive about me? No, I mean, no. A, he's trashing me. Oh, then, as a, as a male, mm -hmm. like, I don't. <laughs> what? Okay, so I mean, as a male, talking down on a female content creator would be soft anyway, in a sense, right? That. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Picking on her or what? Yeah, they, they, wardrobe, how she looks, how she appears, how she. I mean, that just seems like real weak man tendencies. Mm -hmm. Um, that's trying to downplace some a woman. I mean, I don't know how that how that works. Like, what what is what are you trying to accomplish to show her she don't she she can't get a man and the, you are the man, but this is how you portraying yourself. Mm -hmm. She should get a man like you, but this is who you are. A man sitting the line. Trying to tear a woman down, I don't. I wouldn't pay attention to that person. Okay. Um, Do they have a job, or is content I mean, creating their job? I mean, don't talk shit about content creating. No, I'm just saying. I'm just talking about the male that you just described. Do uh, they, I don't know if he, if if they got a job. Do they have? No, I mean, I think they shot you. Turn them down. Like, what is the point? No, no. X. I don't. No, no. Left them on red. Um, not even. Uh, he doesn't care what you do online. It's a notch on his belt. The more men that lie, lie, I guess, you, the better he will feel. I don't know. The more, uh, yeah. I um, don't know. How you, I mean, listen, how you dress, like I'm. They're telling me that the type of men that I'm looking for, you know, somebody with a good situation, supportive and, and all, you know, 
they're probably not looking for a girl like me that is online, that I dress sexy often. They're like, they're not looking for you. So who are they looking for, bums? Like no, not bums, but they're looking for maybe a woman who has a career still, but it, who is more reserved and, um, and wear uh, more conservative clothes. I'm looking for a woman who treats me right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like that's loyal to me. Like, if um, her standards is her standards, right? Um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to question, you know, what she's doing. That's for her, her to do. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, we, we know when we're doing some dumb shit or we, you know, um, it's all about, it's all about security. I mean, like if you dating some woman and this is the job she has, like, you know, she's showing off, she's doing this. And if you're not secure with yourself, like, then that's the problem. The problem isn't that, you know, she has on bikinis and, you know, mm -hmm. um, on Instagram. The problem is you're insecure about it, which means you think that someone else can take your girl because you're not treating her right. Yeah. Well, you need to get that out of your mind. If if she wants to leave, she wants to leave. She wants to, you know, upgrade. She wants to upgrade mm -hmm. or, or not upgrade, but be upgraded. Right. You know, that's just you got to let those go. Yeah. You know, like, because insecurity is a weak trick, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. What? You know, you, what? I'm looking you know, at you. Like, what? You're staring in my eyes, like. I mean, that's a problem. A lot of people cannot keep eye contact. I can't. Well, no, I'm just saying you, you it's glazing, though. Like. Yeah, it's might, a bunch of lies. Probably have, no, no, no. Stop. You probably had a lot of men talk about your content. Right. Did you have situations in your relationship? I mean, I've had situations where they were telling me, you need to tone it down. You don't need to show off so much skin. And I'm like, well, I like it. <laughs> and the fact that I'm saying I'm liking it, I can see the gloss in my eye. Right no, now. it's not that. I just yes. wanted to to see your opinion on that. That's all. Because it's not so much what you think. It's more like when they say the type of men I, I'm looking for is not looking for me. And therefore, that's why I'm single. Usually the men who are saying that aren't the men anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. Is that they're not at that level anyway to even give an opinion, right? And if you actually try to give them an attention, they're going to accept that shit anyway yeah. because, like, you know, that's why I like some, like, like I don't, I don't really read comments. I don't really care about anybody's opinion. Uh, and in those senses, I, I, I go with what I go with. Um, it's gotten me this far. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but, you know, usually someone who's trying to attack, um, you know, especially like, I, I just don't see the the benefit in, I'm, I've never been online looking at a woman talk and then she's describing something and, and I go in attack mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just seems, that seems weird to me. Okay. And I know most men like, you know, they, they, they think my, this personality that yeah. I show when the camera's on is my personalities when they're off. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm no chill and that's my brand. And, you know, for the most part, I got to be that way, you know, when that camera's on, because when the camera's off, I'm, 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 you know, I'm different. Mm -hmm. You've seen me twice. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it's, it's, it's one of those things where, um, you can't, what you see online is not really everything you're seeing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. You know, and I think sometimes people get confused with, you know, characters online versus, mm -hmm. and because they can't, because they don't have a character and what they're doing is exactly what it yeah. is and that shit ain't working or whatever, you know, they, mm -hmm. and they don't understand that, you know, there's other people like Le LeBron on the court is not LeBron off the court. Yeah. You know, there's, there's two different people. Right, Denzel in movies is not Denzel at all. Right? <laughs> so, um, mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Well, that that's all. Any more questions that you got? Or I mean, no, nah, I'm ready to good? enjoy our dinner together. Oh, okay. Since I got you here, you might as well, you know, enjoy dinner, and watch a movie. Oh, all of that. You decided. Okay, I think that's it. She didn't say no. 
I didn't say yes either. Listen, I'm glad you're from France. Why? Because. Because what? You don't know the lingo, so. I know yeah. some of the lingo. Okay. What did you say that I didn't understand? You know, nothing. I'm going to leave with my A+. Plus. I got it. Hey, what's my grade today, y'all? What is my grade today? Um. What did you guys think of my? Yeah, what is? The oh, grade you want grade? your grade? Okay, no, from just, my chat. just give talk, his I'm grade. Talking to your busted ass chat. I'm talking. To Why are you people. talking shit about my chat? I'm talking about my people because they don't. They pineapple me, made me look stupid in my my sector, right? They pineapple me. I mean, I you knew you knew you would get pineapple because you were pineappling other people. Because I didn't know the rules. I didn't know the rules. <laughs> I didn't know twenty dollars made people go and they had to leave. Like I wouldn't do that, but I, mm -hmm. they didn't tell me the rules. So I was just in there. Okay. And um, sure. What is your chat telling you? A plus. A plus. Yeah. They say yeah. P. Easy A. No, there is an S. S for super. D, D minus. minus. I still pass. I still pass. A D is super. I don't know. C B A plus. Um. <laughs> F. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i see a lot of f's no i've seen an f yes i've seen a bunch of f's mm -hmm. so stop man you see all these damn a's <laughs> Pass you see L. all these you see them these all these z a's minus my chat saying all a's well that's your chat but you have yeah. to have both chats not just yours I, 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 so no i have both so i see the a no, no, plus no, what i'm saying is i didn't talk to your chat i was talking to my chat my shit's a I'm, I'm well a, they say a, i a, give a, melly a, a plus plus melly c gear a d <laughs> you don't see, see the whole thing okay uh what i'm good, I'm good. Okay. i got enough a's to know that i got a shot the a's was not for you do you have a shot or not the no, a was like, how you did like how, how did. you did is in this show no that's Yes. No, oh, that's I the lingo it. again that I'm not understanding. How I did for my chances. Like, am I good? Like, <laughs> am I going? Okay. Well, GTD, y'all. What is GTD? Hey, GTD. Hey, dude, what's my GTD, y'all? What is GTD? Huh? It's like it's kind of like a G hey, GTD. Is that a yes? See, that's lame. That's lame to do that. To do stuff where I don't understand. Get the draws. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. Yeah, she, yeah, you should well, ask. No, I should ask because I know you're talking dumb <laughs> yeah, shit right now. Draw, like, yeah, um, it's dumb. I, I'm getting a bunch of A's, so we good. It's dumb. We good. You, do you listen to your chat? Are you one of those? I read what they say. No, you, oh, you see, they, they told me get the draws too. Mm -hmm. They told me. No, I'm good on that. Um, so, guys, I don't know. I don't know if you guys enjoyed the show. I hope you did. I did it. Uh, I did it. I did. Um, did you have fun? Yeah, yeah. What do you is think? Fun. Like this is this is different than you know. I'm usually just in by in yourself. Sport, so this is different. Oh, this is, oh yeah, this not by different. yourself actually. In sports, yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do this again. I don't know. I want to see if if it's uh... a. <laughs> hey, some, somebody knows me. Somebody said maybe don't wear drawers. <laughs> what the fuck? Who said that? Um. Wait. So I mean, we gotta ask. So do you have on drawers? Uh, no, I, I don't, they bother me. I don't wear that. Um, uh, wait. So tell me, uh, tell me, a uh, chat, what, what did you guys think? And eventually the real deal deal is the one. You're cool, but Mel, come to town, New York City. I can't get the draws because she ain't got none. That's See, so, so you can't. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, yeah, so maybe we'll come back. I don't know. Uh, we, I am. I, I, I was going to talk for you. Uh, I am open to ideas. If you guys have ideas on maybe where we should collab, how we should collab, what we should do if we do another one, I don't know. What, what you guys think? We should do another one with uh, different topics, different things to talk about. What are you saying? I'm, no, no, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about those no draws on. This. Oh, okay. I'm well, to figure out how to get a glance just don't mind me get a glance that's why i have a long dress you cannot get a glance okay they say you'll come back uh this a date 
you want you want gear, but you acting hard. Why would I act hard? Am I acting hard? No, no I'm no, acting no, like no, myself. No. Like so, it's not really acting. I am being myself. Am I acting hard? No, you fine. I, I, okay, she's a Capricorn, so I already got through all that. We good. Are you ready to eat? Yeah, that's fine. I was. Uh, somebody said two freaks. Uh, get the dress. <laughs> <laughs> Get the dress, I like that. Move so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Move so. Uh, uh, Melly, that's being a Capricorn, being strong. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, she found to have girl feeling. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect duo. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see what we do, what we do next, if we do anything. And uh, I don't know, anything. Well, thank you for coming over. Uh, thank you for you know doing this. This is uh this is good. You know I didn't know what to expect to be honest uh, mm -hmm. because you know I just do sports. So you know this was refreshing. You look beautiful, obviously. Thank you. Um, is it hard for you to to talk about something different, or you felt comfortable? No, no. I mean I feel comfortable. Like um, mm -hmm. you know just applying it, right? You know, it's, mm -hmm. I usually just stick to what I know, but. Mm -hmm. So okay. we'll do this again. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, well, uh, thank you. I guess thank you guys for being here. You I feel get, like it's you can bring me later. But I'm just saying you, you need just... to get your head out of that. Like everything is not about sex. No one told you to say you don't wear drawers. You say get the drawers, I had to answer. Exactly. So leave me alone. But uh, no, but this setting now that I'm looking at this and not the computer, mm -hmm. it looks like TV. I'm like, so well, thank you for tuning in, guys. <laughs> uh, we'll be back <laughs> on the next uh, Gills and Melly show. I, I don't fucking know. Melly and Gills, I should be first. Huh? Sure. Ladies first. Yeah, ladies. Whatever. All right, well, we out? We out. We out. Thank you, chat. Good night. You came to my page, got 1,300 people here. I need to have you on all the time. You know it's your life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Good night. Good night. <laughs>